Hi. Um, I wanted to show you again my California king snake. Now they're rather um, they're very gentle. Uh, the first or second day you get them, they do bite. Um, this is my second day having him. He's very gentle with me. I'm very gentle with him. I know how to treat him. He knows how to treat me. Um, they're very beautiful colors, as you can see here. And they're very calm if you hold them and you just let them tie around your hand into a little knot. And he may squeeze a little bit, but he's just trying to feel more secure in his grip, you know, so he doesn't fall. Just like, you know, if you were falling off a ledge or you had to hold on to something, you would. Uh, that's kind of how he feels. And he's crawling up my arm now. He's, he's, um, his name is Hades. And, um, I feed him baby pinky mice. Well, I haven't fed him yet. I haven't even, because I got him yesterday and I feed him every, I'm going to feed him every Friday. Hold on, I'll go get his dinner and show you. This is what he eats. He eats two of these every day, and that is two right there in the bag. It might be hard to see, but that's his food right there. Every Friday he gets fed. <coughs> All right, here's the difference. Here's the advantage and disadvantage between feeding them live and dead mice. Live mice are more expensive, but they're healthier, a little bit healthier for the snake. And freeze-thawed freeze mice are uh, a bit cheaper, but they don't, I mean, the snake lives off of them just fine, you know. It doesn't make them sick or anything, it's just like, you know, with the live mice, it's a little bit extra nutrients, but I feed him freeze-dried mice. Man, um, he's very beautiful. Now, you cannot see him the way I do because, you know, the whole camera thing. And if you actually came up and saw him in real life, you'd realize how beautiful this snake is. Thank you for watching my